Another dream. Albeit, this one was rather more pleasant than the last few. Almost felt like another life. Well, no matter. Time to get up, I suppose. A little jaggedly, but here we are. Uh, what to do? I arrived in the hub just a day ago, but damn, I still have nothing to show for it. I set out to make a name for myself, and I have done literally nothing to further that cause. Well, maybe I can make a few quick bucks off some copper or something. Uh, let's get dressed. No better time than the present. And just in case, the old trusty guardless katana. Not the greatest weapon, but I'm better than most other stragglers have out there, I suppose. Hmm. Maybe it wouldn't hurt to co talk to a couple of the bar patrons. You know, I never did see about getting allies, and in that dream, I had quite a few. I remember an entire pack of animals, uh... A man, I'm, I think his name was Seth? If only that were reality. It was, uh, it was pleasant. A bit bloody, but pleasant. At any rate, uh, how about you, uh, skeleton? You look a little out of place. Here for recruits. I'm available for hire, 3,000 cats. I don't think I have that much money. Ah, uh, let's see. No. Maybe... Maybe you? You look like an adventurer. What do you want? You gonna buy me a drink or you just gonna stand there staring at me? Uh, sure. Drinks are on me. I had a rough encounter with the Bugmaster this week. Ever heard of him? Uh... No. Who's the Bugmaster? He's not someone you want to come across, trust me. Some say he was abandoned as a kid and raised by bugs. The guy practically has an army of giant insects under his control, communicates with them, speaks their language. Go on. The guy's a madman. Thinks he's a goddamn bug or something. Who knows why he hates humans so much. Half my squadron. Slaughtered by him. It was a bloodbath. That's... Terrible. Nothing a good amount of grog won't fix. Thanks for the drink, anyway. Everyone I've met so far has a tale that just ends up like that. The world sure is a depressing place. Okay, so, high spirits. High spirits and figuring out what to do next. So, let's see. I don't have any allies. I'm alone. I've been traveling alone for a bit and was lucky to run into this run-down lovely place. So, I have a little bit of money left on me, uh, but no food. I suppose I could buy some. Oh, and an extra body wrap, just in case. You never know, right? So I suppose first, let's get, get a little bit of money. Let's see. Maybe there's a copper note out here. <sighs> this is probably going to take some time by myself, but... Oh, it's better than nothing, right? Maybe I should have worked out a bit before <clears throat> trying something like this. This is a lot harder than it looks. Oh, and it's getting dark. <sighs> Maybe 
Maybe just a little bit more, right? All right. Okay. A couple pieces. Not too bad. There are other ways to make money too, of course. Uh, they're not really. I don't know if I should. I've never been good at pickpocketing or sneaking to begin with, but I feel like now might be a better time than ever to learn such a trait. First, let's go sell our copper. This barkeep will pretty much buy anything. Oi, newcomer. You looking for some muscle to hire? Uh, no, I don't need any muscle. Um, well, I do, but a little low on cats, I'm afraid. Uh, speaking of which, hello there. Looking to trade? Uh, show me what you've got. A bit of fish. I do believe I could use some fish. There. That'll keep me going. And here you go, some copper. Make up for the fish. That's an awful lot of toothpicks you're carrying there. Buddy, wow. Alright, you can't get anything else. Oh, getting money's gonna take a while. Um I wonder. I I suppose I have no choice. It's gonna be a bit weird. But I'm just going to I'm going to focus on maybe learning how to sneak around a bit better. Hopefully everyone will just think I'm a weirdo, but not. This will be the good first test. Let's pass this guy. Hello there. Weird crouch walk you got going there, stranger. And no big deal. You could care less, it seems. Perfect. Well, I guess I'll just spend the evening doing this then. Mm hmm. What's going on out here? A lot of folks are outside. Are those? Oh. Well. Learned quite well how the world works already, so. Opportunity lays on the ground. Sorry, friend. Oh my. Oh, oh. Whoa. Dogs. Dog attack. Uh. Shit. Shit. Uh, take care of them. You've, you've got it. Wild dogs. If no one minds. I'm going to uh, let's take a couple of things from these. No worries. More room. Not really worth too much. An unfortunate circumstance for these animals, but they attack so brazenly like that. Good lord. All right, let's go sell what we just got. New guy, I'll protect your ass for cats. I will protect your ass for cats, my friend, he says. Um, still good, thank you. able to build a campfire here. Nope, too close. Well, I suppose a night under the stars wouldn't be too harmful since they don't allow campfires within the town. It's kind of weird, but I'm not one to question. I just got here anyhow. Oh my. Um... Are you all right, friend? Oh. 
No, he is, uh, he is dead dead. Um, uh, uh, I always hate doing this. Well, that's a nice jacket you're wearing. Some nice pants. Uh, some food of, as well. <sighs> okay. Um. Looks like I don't need all this raw meat after all, huh? Like to make room for your shirt, however. I know the. To pay good money for the body wraps. Full protection and whatnot. Rare in this area, it seems. Did you. Are you out here alone, friend, and just got jumped? Looks like they tore into your stomach pretty good, whatever it was. Got you a little bit on the head, and your left leg. I had to guess, that looks like an animal may have gotten you. Just went straight for the guts. Disgusting. Well, let's go a little bit further. Whether or not camp next to a dead man. Top of this hill seems like it'd be okay. All right. Get a nice little campfire going and let's cook up this raw meat. Just like that, our food problem is solved. <sighs> Another night and I feel like I've gained almost nothing. Town has a nice view though. What is that on top of it? Something lit up there. Huh. Maybe I'll check that out tomorrow morning. Well, at any rate, I better get some sleep before the morning comes. It is quite late. Alright, another morning. So I head back into town and... My bodies are still out here. Ugh. See what's going on. Huh? The dog eating this dog. A little gross. Uh... Uh, the dog looks at you expectantly. How will you look hungry? Um, is anyone taking care of you? Uh, come with me and I'll make sure that you're fed, little one. Let's see, what do I call you? I'm gonna call you Jack. Hello, little Jack. <laughs> Guess I don't have to be alone anymore for now, huh? Come on. Get out of the guard's way. Hey, yeah, little buddy. Probably hungry, right? Eat that. Are you, are you eating that? Do you not... Do you not want the meat? Maybe you only eat raw meat. Hold, uh, hold me. Come on. I just sold some meat. No, I cooked all the meat. Damn it. Maybe there's some raw meat I can buy from the the uh, barkeep. Ah, oh, a new buyer. Welcome. No, it's not a new buyer. It's me. I've been here the last few days bunking here, if you recall, just not last night. Three of those. Okay, Jack. Here, do you like this? There you go. So you like it raw. Okay, fair enough. I want to make sure to somehow get stay supply of raw meat for you. Seem to have the money now, based on that random stuff I sold, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um now what should I do? Oh, yeah. Top of that uh, mountain. There. 
Go up there. going to be a bit of a walk. Nice to have someone with me, though, again, Jack. Just, uh, the world's a dangerous place. Just hope if something happens, you're ready to jump into the thick of it. Just up this way. What is this place? Looks to be some sort of ruins, perhaps? Definitely ruins. Church or a temple? Yeah, okay. Is that a. Oh, uh, Jack, I recognize this. This is uh, a statue to those religious nuts. Uh, Aquanites. Yeah, that's them. And apparently, they worship some all holy god that thinks that every other race is just nothing. It's strange. They believe it'll provide for them and take care of them as long as they push its religious whatever to everybody else. I've never really liked those guys. They tend to leave me alone, I guess, because I look like one of them, but I don't think they'll be trusted. With that aside, Jack, look at this. A whole abandoned camp. Even has a, a bed to rest in. Oh, and a sitting stool with a lit fire. That's a little curious. How's the fire lit? Oh, I don't think we should stay here long, Jack. This might be someone else's camp. I thought it abandoned, but for this to be lit, there's no way. Well, that aside, let's take a quick peek around. Maybe there's something here we can use. I'm not seeing anything. Maybe it is abandoned. Maybe this just stays lit using some weird fuel or chemical in there. I don't know what that white stuff is. I'd say ash, but for it to stay lit like that, it doesn't make sense. Hmm. I don't think we could build around here either. Oh. I suppose this was... I'll mark this as an Ocranite Shrine, then. What else is around us? We should head back to the hub. I want to get enough money. Maybe we can hire some people to travel with us. I'm, I'm glad that you're here, Jack, but we definitely need a bit more uh, oomph to be able to traverse the wild safely. The hub? Oh, it's a little far away. All the way back here. Okay. Long trek back. Let's go. Okay. Back in town. Ah, uh, now what? I need a bit more money. I think that skeleton said he joined me for 3,000 cats. And I'm gonna have... Oh, I'm very close. Um... I guess I'm going to, uh... Yeah, let's go get some copper real quick, Jack. I'll sell it, and we'll be able to... Get someone who can help us out. Plus, I don't think he, uh... I don't think those... I don't know if I should call them people or things, but... I don't think they eat, so... Once he joins us, I'll just ask him to get the copper. 
then maybe we can finally get some money. Okay, here you go, little buddy. I know you're gonna be hungry, so I'll just leave this food here for you. You just eat it when you're ready, okay? I'll be doing this for a little bit. Enough. Uh, middle of the night again. Gotta stop working like this. Let's go sell to that bartender. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> New guy with no money. You got any money yet? Hello, hello, me again. More copper uh, to do whatever you do with. Perfect. Hello again, my metal friend. I am looking for recruits. Come on aboard. All right, uh, welcome, friend. Uh, Masaru, was it? All right. Uh, you're rather tall, aren't you, Masaru? So what are you good at, huh? Heavy weapons, huh? Well, I'm afraid I don't have any of those, but maybe we'll find one. Or perhaps you just prefer to use your fists. Hmm. Well, maybe that'll work out for the best. Oh, or maybe not. I suppose just, you know, we'll find you something eventually. But for now, all you have is a wakizashi on you, huh? I have an armor. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll be able to find some armor maybe out in the desert. I did find a couple earlier. But uh, first, do you mind going to go get some copper? Um, I'm going to scout around town and see if I can find more recruits. Oh, um, I suppose I should tell you our mission. Um... I don't really have one, but... Well, that's that's a lie. I do. But I need more people for it, and more money. We're going to need a small army to accomplish what I want. But there's... Eh, we could talk about that later. For now, please, just focus on the copper. And come back here to sell whenever you can. I'll be, uh... Gathering information around town still. Alright? See you, Masaru. Catch back up. fellow. Um, this guy has been, every time I walk in, asking if I need help. Yo, the guy who keeps greeting me. Hey, you got cats? I'm, I'm broke. Leave me alone, man. Haha, <laughs> useless. Oh, that was unproductive. Uh, what about you? Interested in, in joining up in a adventuring party? You looking for a fight, ass wipe? I, sorry, I, I don't want any trouble. Ha! Coward. Go run back home to your mom, twerp. I got the state of some people. Uh, how about you, friend? Interested in adventure? Uh, spare moment traveler? What's up? I used to be a farmer for the Holy Nation, but recently was bred at a heretic and lost everything I owned. Uh, what did you do? A feeding a starving man. That doesn't seem so bad. He was a shek. In the eyes of a paladin, he isn't even a man. Ah, okay, now that makes more sense. Yes, the holy nation are not very forgiving or understanding. Yeah, they're, they're dicks in a nutshell. Amen to that. 
So why not join me if you have nothing? I would love to, but I owe someone a lot of money. What if I pay off that debt? I couldn't ask you to pay off 6,000 cats. Uh, 6,000 cats? You're, you're right, I can't... I can't pay that. It's fine, my friend. Maybe another time. Everyone always has something that they have to take care of. Come on, Jack. We're going outside. We got more work to do. I haven't been on the other side of town. I suppose I'll check there next. Uh, hello there. You lot are dressed a bit differently than the rest here. So you want in on the Shinobi, eh? The guards try to lay the crack down, but they ain't fooling nobody. They're nothing. Nothing a few cats can't handle. Uh, okay. I was gonna ask about joining me, but yeah, I'll join the Shinobi Thieves. You can join. Or fee. That, that's it? I don't have to complete a test or prove myself or something? Do I look like I've got time for handing out busy work? No, this is a business we're running, not a social club. Just one-time membership fee. 10,000 cats. So what will it be? Do you want to join the guild? 10,000 cats seems a little steep. You want to use our facilities? You gotta pay for them. If you can't afford it, you're obviously not a very good thief. I suppose I can't argue that. Maybe another time, then. 10,000 cats, Jack. Holy shit, how are we gonna get that kind of money? I guess, maybe copper? Maybe... Maybe check to see if there's some stuff around here we can use. Either way, we need to help Masaru gather some more copper. We can at least start there, right? We're out of money anyhow after paying his steep fee. Hello, Masaru. Coming along, I see. Looks like you're about as skilled as that pickaxe as I am. Um, I'm here to help out, so... Over the next few days, I suppose this is what we'll be doing. Just gathering funds. So, we'll sell some copper, get enough to get you some equipment. Maybe hire on a few more mercenaries willing to join us and go from there. Alright. Here we go. So, what's, uh, I don't know much about you other than, uh, you joined me for 3,000 cats, uh, other than your name, Masaru, so, what's up with you, huh? Not very talkative, huh? Well, that's, uh, a little strange. We're gonna be working together for quite a while, you know? You could at least, uh, open up a bit. It is not your concern. Wow! First words you've spoken to me, and they're very... cold and distant. Well, you're... you're good, right? Like, I gave you the money, you're gonna help me out with whatever I'm doing? That was the deal. Okay! Uh... No more questions for now. Just keep on chipping away at this copper. Likes me, Jack. You will in time. I hope. Okay, back to town and to sell all of our all of the copper. We have so much copper on us. Uh, what the hell? Um, uh, are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Just doing guard duty. Your right leg looks like it needs to be healed. I guess you look fine enough. No, nah, no, nah, I'm good. Go about your business, sir. More wounded. The hell are... A guard? What the hell happened to the city? Did someone attack? I was just out mining. Another guard? Men limping? What in the... 
team, we may have missed something, but let's just go about our business. I guess it's not our concern right now, just what we want to do. Uh, here you are, sir. Some copper. Uh, Masaru, you too. Hand him over what you got. Okay, pulled together, we have 15, 1,500 cats. That's not terrible, I suppose. Maybe a few more days of that. We'll have the price they want for the Shinobi Guild. <sighs> it's gonna take forever. Okay, well, back to the copper node. I suppose we'll just focus on that. Actually, I need to buy some food first, so let's make a pit stop. What the hell? What the hell is he carrying out here? Was that a check in that dude's arms? What the fuck happened while we were gone? And, uh, who are you? Do you work here? No, just a guard. Oh, you're just a guard? Joel was injured. The barkeep's injured. Well, shit. Is, are, are you selling anything? Huh. No. No? All right. Um. Damn it, I gotta get some raw meat for Jack. Uh. Maybe upstairs. Uh, surgeon. Uh, I'm not looking for a doctor. Or a diplomatic pacifier. Hobbs, what about you? Uh, hello, sir. That's right. Come sit with me. Have a drink. Hey, have you ever heard the story of the Wailing Banshee? Uh, no. What's it about? Well, legend has it that it nests deep, deep into the forest. They say it preys on lost travelers, feeds on their souls, and makes rotting loincloths out of their neck skins. Apparently, survivors have told that it has a pungent potato odor and has the eyes that resemble surprised truffles. There was one particularly handsome man-warrior that once very nearly slayed the beast, but he choked on a boiled potato two and a half weeks ago. That sounds uh, amazing. How do I find it? Well, if I knew that, I would have tracked it down myself. But if you're going to head out and search for it, you must take me with you. It's all an old dying man's last wish. <laughs> then I will grant you your wish, old man. Join us in search of this beast. Lead the way. <laughs> Your banshee will uh, surely turn up in our travels. We plan to roam quite a bit. But right now, we're sort of low on funds, so we're doing a money-making adventure. Well, that's quite all right with me. Um, whatever it takes, you know? Just lead the way, and I'll follow. All right. Well, first up is finding a way to buy some raw meat for my dog. Uh, his name is Jack, by the way. Um, hey, meet him downstairs. Let's head down there. Uh, Masaru? Uh, Jack? This is a new recruit. This is Hobbs. He's, uh, in search of a banshee, which we are now as well. Eventually. Damn thing's worth a fortune if we get its head. It's out there, I tell you, and it's out there somewhere lurking, waiting for the next person to show up and gobble them up. Nothing we can't handle, I'm sure. Right, 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 right. Well, let's uh, focus on one goal at a time. I'm gonna go find some food for Jack. Um, I suppose you two can go gather more copper for now. That's how we've been making our money, Hobbs. Uh, gather what you can, bring it to town, sell it to a vendor. Stuff's always worth a little bit more than iron, so. Get as much as you can carry. Sound good? Hey, you got it, boss. We'll be out there. Uh, what's your name, Robot Man? Masaru? Come on, Masaru. Let's let's go gather. Okay, Jack. Come on. Let's let's find you some food. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. You look like one of those street vendors, right? You selling anything? Uh, 
Uh, you here, here to buy? Show me what you've got. Perfect. Thank you. You got a little buddy. Eat up. Now, uh, maybe we should help the others with getting copper. We gotta get some money, right? So, yep, let's do it. Here we go again. 